Hello everybody, I'm Rude Devil, and welcome to Edain 4.3. I am joined by Rohan's favorite son. It's Elite Cryptic, say hello. Hello everybody. Happy to finally <laughs> be on Rude Devil's channel. I've been bugging him like a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> he is, uh... He's the one who kicked my ass ages ago, is Rohan. Um, there'll be a link to his channel in the description, so if you want to watch someone who actually does know how to play this game, I would highly recommend watching his videos. And, I, I uh, want to note as well that I sucked back when I kicked your ass as Rohan. <laughs> that doesn't bode well for me. But anyway, today we're going to be checking out the new faction against, actually, a faction that was reworked as well. It's going to be Angmar v Dwarves. 1k start. Are you all ready to go? I'm good to go. Here we go. <laughs> I've had a, from watching your videos of the tournament, I've had a newfound love of uh, hero rushing, just building like four heroic statues and then going crazy. Yeah, that's, not... a, that's an interesting strategy. Uh, I'm still not totally 100% whether or not it's actually useful against mm. a player who plays smart but yeah <clears throat> because if you lose one of those heroes then it is really costly to replace yes. unless you've used like in gondor's case unless you've used barragond <laughs> but uh oh man anyway here we go oh, i just had i've got the jitters i've got the jitters i can't play <laughs> okay right. oh grabble from gondor oh god first quotes come out already okay <laughs> You think uh, I give a dog about your threat, you pointy -eared <laughs> Uh, I think Thranduil probably felt pretty good at that moment in time until he realized that they had Siege, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, that, that's like the greatest moment in any film. Yeah, my friend who's just a die-hard elf lover was like, was anyone else upset when the elves got wrecked? And they was like, no, no, it was just you. Talking about, uh, Gil Salad or Vector. How, how did you know? Holy crap, it was Gil Salad. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Okay. I don't know, you're probably dead, but I don't, you probably remember just how strong the walls used to be. The, the what? The, how strong the, uh, the dire walls used to be. Oh yeah, the, like, the war, the, um, the unmounted ones. Frankly. Yeah, they're so beautiful. Okay. So this should be fun, because I don't, uh, you, you know this, I don't really play to win, I play just to have fun, but... <laughs> Yeah. Don't take this personally. I want to beat you. I don't want to beat you hard. I want to beat you so hard. <laughs> the Angmar is pretty overpowered, so you've got a decent chance of doing it, but... Yeah. As I say to everyone that says things like that, you imply I know what I'm doing. We'll, we'll, we'll give it our best shot. But you, you, you have no idea how much I've learned just from watching you play, or just watching your videos. Well, I'm like, I, I really I really didn't know much about Edain. Like, I really... I. I never realized how useful people like Pippin were and things like that. Oh yeah, Everything, so, everything's useful if you use it right. Mm. So, if anyone's watching out there and they're thinking, well, I want to get better at a Dane, I really don't know what I'm doing, then well, watch Crypto, he knows what he's doing. Well, uh, um, speaking uh, of don't know what they're doing, I won't even tell you what just happened. Never mind. You can okay, just, well, you can hazard a guess. I, I want to give, um, a, a couple of very quick tips to just, just that I give to all people who are new to the game. Right. Uh, first off, always fill your base as quickly as you can. The longer those plots go unbuilt, the less money you're making. Right, uh, okay. Secondly, scout heroes are very important. Always make them. They help, mm -hmm. they help you with creeping. And then finally, th this is something that can't be taught, but you have to learn to multitask. You have to learn to be all over the map at once. Right, right. <laughs> and use hotkeys, you know. Mm. H for home, space for events. H for home, holy shit. I totally knew that. I wasn't just surprised. <laughs> there is no deception. In okay. There's all kinds of little ones that can help, so keep that in mind. So you're playing as the Mighty Dwarves. I had a good go at the Dwarves earlier today. I managed to take out two two people in a free-for-all this morning as dwarves, so I'm feeling good. Cool, which faction did you try? Uh, Iron Hills. I ram-rided the crap out of them. <laughs> yep. and it's I always like Iron fun. Hills a lot, too, now. Mm. I'm still... I mean, you might have a different opinion on me uh, than me, but I'm still not completely sure if the Arid Lewin, like, triple damage on the flank is actually that useful. Well, it's all but. about how good at flanking you are, I guess. Um, if you split your army, like if you have, say, 12 guardians and you split them into three groups of four, it's actually a lot easier than you might think. Right, okay. Just like, uh, I don't know how much to Total War you played, you produced a few videos for them, but if you uh, if you hit enemies with cavalry from three different sides at once, you'll do far more damage. Okay, <laughs> right. Hi there. 
We've got the first little action of the game. We've got some mighty er or sorry, iron hills it seems. So a lot of a lot of defense going on. And all I've all I've got is some mighty Gundabad orcs. I think they can take you. I th I'm not scared at all. What are you talking about? We've, we've both got a mutual debuff. I think you're just outside my range. And they've hit level two, so maybe we should just get out of here. <laughs> I didn't even use stubbornness because of um, the debuff being there. Mm. Come back here, you filthy orcs! <laughs> uh, I'm really glad that Angmar has walls, because that gives me a little bit of a buffer if I have to dig in deep. I don't know if you ever saw my fight with Vector Maximus, but I essentially just frustrated the hell out of, hell out of him as Gondor and just uh, turtled my way. My God, he played terribly. Mm. Yeah, he really just let me do whatever I wanted, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. And I thought his faction was supposed to be elves. It was good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was actually. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you weren't like that. I've got I've got him linked on the right side of my channel too. So. All right, Angma, don't let me down. You're oh, dubbed so you're the OP faction. Yeah. Unfortunately, the attack debuff was at that one you already destroyed. <laughs> oh boy. The evil flow. Freaking dwarves! <laughs> Have you learned nothing of the stubbornness of dwarves? Uh, Knowing you, you'll find a way to summon Theoden and chant death and just have the greatest time. Well, I could always say his speech when I'm about to win if you want me to. <laughs> Tighten up, dwarves! Okay. I think I should have gone with Erebor. Just go full of offensive play. Plus, you can get Gimli, and who doesn't love Gimli? Gimli is pretty freaking overpowered. Powerful than you. Oh no! I'm not letting a level three live. Oh god, he might. I might not actually have a. There we go. Okay. Damn it! Curse you, rude! <laughs> well, I got one of them out of there. I'm oh, that's a scout hero. Battle. Not gonna win that fight. Let's yeah. Find out. Although I did. Sucks so bad. He died like five times in my Angmar overview. I do beta content on my channel as well, folks. I'm a beta tester. Just FYI. Yeah. But yeah, I, I don't really like him too much. He died a lot. <laughs> Although I was, my attention was stretched terribly and I was playing horribly when, when I did that because I knew nothing about Angmar. Alright, I have to check. Okay, there's no outpost there. Screw your, screw your, um, obelisk. <laughs> they are a bit of an eyesore, I I don't know, I think they look cool. They're just annoying. It's a very unique building. It's not to, you don't see many obelisks in Middle Earth. No. I, I think um, the um, idea for that. Oh, hi there. I think the idea for that was um, you remember in the Fellowship of the Ring in the book when uh, Frodo and the other hobbits get stunned by that dark obelisk. Yeah. I think that's, that's where the idea came from. Mm. See, at that, uh, you know what, when the when the beta first came out, those walls would have destroyed that mine, I'd be sipping Bacardi Breezes right about now. Oh. <laughs> but thankfully the spiked call is giving me a nice damage bonus, but not yet, so I haven't got them yet. Okay. Well, the thing I like about Iron Hills is you don't need nothing but pikes. Because of their formation. Yeah, a, da a damage and armor boost. Just pike spam for days. Oh my god. Oh, I've got filthy, filthy hillmen. I've got some orcs and I've got some wolves, so... filthy spearmen from the hills. <laughs> exactly. A multicultural society is what Angmar is. <laughs> Everyone is accepted. No prejudice here. My guardians are totally regenerating because I got one of them out of there. Alright, well, might as well get some money back. Oh, I didn't get any money back, what do you know? Mine shafts do not give money back, that's brilliant. <laughs> so it's a shame that the uh, Exile camp is bugged, because I actually really did want to fight you as uh, Rohan, because I really wanted to see how you utilize that Exile camp, because it actually seemed like such a useful building now. Well, like, let's so just say useful. this, if I was Rohan, you'd be stuck in your base right now. 
<laughs> Get the peasants. And that's uh, without the exile camp. Every once in a while, my I, I would. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to try and argue with that. Not in the slightest. <laughs> I can't remember. Are dire wolves still good against pikes? Um, actually, let's have a quick look, because I remember, yeah, in vanilla, that's what they were designed to. Yep, they're still good against pikes. Oh well, shit, I guess I do Our need guardians. So I got a little advantage there. <laughs> By the way, um, that, that chuckle you do, I swear, it gets me every time. I love that chuckle. That trademark <laughs> chuckle. Is that my it, it, it sounds like I'm laughing with you, but also I'm going to wreck you with peasants soon enough. <laughs> I love it. Anyway. That's not my full-on laugh. My pro I've got like a really girly, high-pitched laugh when I really... When you find something really, really yeah. funny? Yeah. Mm. My voice goes so high, it's really embarrassing. <coughs> so, how are things in Angmar Town? Well, apparently the wolves weren't getting paid enough. There's a bit of a... bit of a communist movement going on. I'm having to... call it right now. That's not good. No, that's not good for business. Witch King is probably gonna have to enter the fray himself. Sooner than we thought. Well, you're doing pretty good with your uh, with your troops. I'm impressed. <laughs> Don't belittle me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I, I'm not belittling uh, you. I'm honestly saying I'm impressed. Okay. Shall see, though. I've got a pretty good force. I will uh, have my point of view uploaded as well, folks. If you want to come to my channel and see it. Just give me a row of orc necks. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. What the fuck? That's a little buggy. <clears throat> oh, man. These men of Condom are gonna be the death of me. Mortemoth, why aren't you free? <laughs> By the way, I wanted to let you know one thing I saw when you did your Iron Hills video, Dane's Messenger on Naren. Uh, the act that's a passive ability. The active effect just gives Naren speed. Oh, okay. So the the armor boost and experience is passive. Yep. Oh, okay. The active is just if you need to get the hell out of there really quick because he's almost right. dead. Okay. I have to say, I love the look of these Barrowites with the runes on it. They're so beautiful. Yep. Beautiful and overpowered. <laughs> Those are the single reason why I don't like Angmar that much, because, my god. Yeah. Wait, what Threat the hell just happened? Threat with every attack, and then every kill they get levels up the barrel and makes them even more overpowered. Yeah. Ridiculous. Alright. It's a little quiet on the western front. That makes me very nervous. Quiet for now, laddie. <laughs> Just wait, the horns of hell are upon you. Oh god! Oh no! <laughs> There's a gate that has to be shut somewhere, and it rhymes with mine. <laughs> that might be the scariest thing ever, okay. If that's Naren, then I'm pretty sure... Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to retreat every single unit I have under the sun. <laughs> and that's just my first army. The other one's coming up on your barrel now. Well played. Come back here, Rangers. You aren't going away. I'm not going to let you escape. You cost a lot of money. Yes, they do. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Battle is going on in each challenge. Okay, well, we're going to have to get some... We're going to have to get some pikes. I think. But unfortunately, these men of Kondu mean they're extremely costly. Be ready for yeah, that's why Mortemarth is kind of important. <laughs> oh no, I was just about to get the curse of the Barrow White on that. No. <laughs> they were so beautiful. Oh, you struck just at the right time. Well, exactly. that makes me happy. That, that, mm, I bet. <laughs> okay. I can't right. be mad. I love these Ram Riders. They're so beautiful. Yeah, they are pretty fun now that they got Naren to give them leadership. I never liked them before, but I do now. <laughs> mm. Now we just need something to Holy buff those. Holy crap, they're so strong! Oh, yeah. It's like having tower guards that run at the speed of light. <laughs> oh, where do you think you're going, Draglin? No, he's not fallen. Yeah, well, he will. At least not yet. My super speed. Come back here! Come back! Back here, you wolf bastard. Mmm, I really did not expect 
Ram Riders, and I don't know why. Oh no. I was talking specifically about Naren. Hmm. They're so powerful though, and I- oh man. It's really gonna be difficult to repel these now. I know, because I wrecked with them earlier, and it was so much fun. Oh man, okay. It's one of those okay. things, you hate to love it, but you love to hate it. <laughs> Okay, I better not do that. Oh man. Okay, you know so what's how left? I'm able to afford that, folks? By filling my base and upgrading it. All right. Oh hey, it's an orc camp. My beautiful Barrowite's reduced to ash, and I was just about to get cursed the Barrowite, and it would have been awesome, but nah. No Barrowite's for you. Oh hi Let's there. Oh, you cannot do this. No, Druglin! If you fall, we all fall! I will not stand down before any elf. Well, Druglin's not. Okay, he stood down. <laughs> he stood down in the dirt. Oh, those are pikes, aren't they? Let's see who's better. I really don't think, especially with Naren leading the line, uh, with his combat command, I think he might be okay. Just, just a little bit. Yeah, I think you're getting your butt kicked. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, I really did not expect those. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, you have yourself to thank because I saw how overpowered they were in your Iron, Heart, Iron Hill mm. video. <laughs> if it hadn't been for that, I probably would have still underestimated them. Yeah, they are. They are amazing. They are. I'm, I'm not even salty about it. They just, they just, I, you know, I just love them. <laughs> Well, I hope you're having as good a time as me. <laughs> you know what? I am. So that, that's that's good for me. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, they're so. I'm trying to think how I can actually kill these things now. Mm, well, let's get the upgrades going. Hmm. What could I make? Man, let me tell you. Naren really wants a row of orc necks. You'll do as you're told. He's like begging for it. Finish, then burn. You are Tell not prepared for what I'm going to do to you. If it rhymes with Demolisher, <laughs> I, yeah. No, it doesn't rhyme with Demolisher. Okay, that's thankful. It does rhyme hmm. with a certain something else that's rather prevalent on your channel, though. Uh oh. Okay, I'm trying to think what I could actually do to, to stop this. Whoa, 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 Don't you be destroying my, my mind. What do you think you're doing? Well, given that it's six inches from my base, I felt maybe it was a bit of a threat. <laughs> with the, uh, right, with, the with the dwarves affinity for, uh, you know, living underground and whatnot. You can have that one. I'll let you have that one. Okay. Oh, and you even destroyed the one at the top right. Oh, man. Yeah. To quote Elite Cryptic about two minutes ago, boy, you're getting your butt kicked. <laughs> hey, I wasn't referring to you, I was referring to the pipes. I think I was, uh... <laughs> I think it's very true, though. Keep right? If you're gonna lose, make it to Ram Riders, because I just... Oh, it's so okay. much fun. <laughs> but, like, even when you're in trouble, that combat come on, let's give them 30% armor and damage, why not? Yeah. Let's just do it. It definitely needs... Uh, all the stuff that got implemented in this patch is totally overpowered. That's all I can say about it, really. Yeah. Like, the Rohan Exile Camp is completely overpowered. Did you know that um, we did a test, me and my friend yesterday, and their new swordsmen, the Wardens or the Soldiers of the Westfold, whatever they're called, they actually beat Tower Guards 1v1. Oh. So... Exile camp beats elite units. Yeah, basically, Gondor has nothing now versus Rohan. Literally nothing. We're on the move. Okay, so there's a lumber mill outside my base. Yep, and what did lumber, lumber mills make, Rude? You'll do as you're told. Oh, you wouldn't dare. <laughs> Actually, this will be interesting. I'll, I'll look forward to I've, I've this. I've got a master plan that I've been just coordinating for the past two days ever since you a said you were going to play with me. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my pike decided to charge. I totally didn't want them to do that. Okay. I can kill Rudow. Oh yeah, you can kill them, no, no problem. Hey, you guys went too far ahead. Those are the good pikes. I love how Naren has the Gimli quotes before the rank. Uh, 
that's a that I'm talking about the game. Not oh, the game. wait, why did I just do that? I didn't need to do that. That gave me no advantage. I didn't mean to hit that. Oh, well. Oh, well, you did see to get, get to see some dwarves go flying through the Oh, there's King Dane in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's... And there's a certain other hero about to come and join him. And another hero. Oh, shit. I just realized I destroyed my mine on the front lines. Now I can't teleport in there. Damn it! <laughs> I've replaced it with the lumber mill. <laughs> Alright. Walk over there slowly. Well, you know, if you're just gonna stand outside your base, then I'm just gonna come kill you. I'm trying my best. But this is... Oh, God. Wait, those are guardians. My pikes really don't have a chance against them, do they? Nor against the pikes that are in there. Be ready. Oh no! Send in the golds! No, let's not! Let's rethink! <laughs> oh no. Oh shit. I can't upgrade my forge because I need builders. And for that I need camps. I don't have any camps. Oh no! Alright, if we can kill Naren, then it'll be a good day. It'll be a good day. It'll be a good day. Kill him! He must fall! And I think he's... I think he's gotten away. I think he was the one that got away. The one that got away, isn't there a song? Oh man. I'm trying to think how this game would have gone if Rand Riders weren't a thing. <laughs> I would like to think I would have done a lot better, but maybe that's just wishful I don't thinking. Know, man. Iron Hill's pipe wall doesn't fuck around. And this is just uh, a foregone conclusion because there's heroes in there. Plus guardians against my beloved pikes. Alright, undermine. That'll let me get my heroes frontline quicker. Thank you. Hey, Muren finally walked his ass over here. I like Murin. He doesn't destroy Rude Devil. It's written in his ability. I think level 1 says... I'm not sure. Could be. <laughs> okay. Right, let's get some upgrades. I never did get enough builders to upgrade my thing, otherwise I could just... Oh, actually... Man. Dane's quotes are so good now. Well, there. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Siege? That's not cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm gonna have to get I siege. To I, I wanted to do this without siege, but you had to go and you had to go and bring ready. siege. I had to go and bring siege into the equation. Oh no! <laughs> I was just getting my beautiful upgrades. You merciless bastard! I, I'm I'm just thinking back to how quickly I lost map control, and it's it's so beautiful. I hope you're not making boats to go to that island. That would be pretty pretty underhanded. <laughs> Can't sling boats? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. Oh man, flavors cost 30 each? That's ridiculous. That's far too much. Given that they look like they're armored out to just go to war, I think that's a fair price. Does, does Mac Pollitt know that there are, like, armored out dwarven laborers in this mod? Because I'm sure that would make him love it, like, way more I think, I think, yeah, I think I would need to tell him that. Yeah, that seems like an important detail not to leave out when speaking to Mac. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> These Condoom Bowmen are con are 700. And I think the only reason they're 700 is so that Mortemoth's ability makes sense. All, all that, everything you just said was Dane was saying his epic quotes at the same time. The entire <laughs> elf speech of I will not stand down before any elf. Oh, hey. <laughs> These walls are going on a safari just so we can actually see what we're up against. And they're going to be chased by Ram right now. Come back here, you silly, silly wolf. Oh, if we can get some laborers, it'll be a good day. No, not the laborers. What have they ever done to you? <laughs> Too many things. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to do something. You're not going to like laborers very much at the end of this day. Oh, no. Uh, I think if I, I, if I set a record for the first man to be defeated by laborers, I'll be pretty happy about that. Well, that's the plan. That's why I've got lumber mills. Let, let, let it be known, folks. That's the plan, implying that this could have been over uh, a long time ago, let's be fair. <laughs> well, I normally would just make rams, like the battering rams. Right. But, uh, I wanted to do something a little special to celebrate you and Mac being so awesome. <laughs> What's that wolf doing? Oh, he's dead. Okay. Alright, let's finish upgrading my boys. Hmm, decisions. Oh, I finally got elite equipment. Elite equipment. Alright, banner carrier. 
Oh, you need wolf breeding now to get the werewolves, and you need spike collars. Okay. Oh my god, Dane's quotes are so good. <laughs> Not least this faithless woodland sprite. Yeah, you, he literally <laughs> just said that as you said it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying me and him are one, but we're pretty damn close. Oh, for the love of God, you got one random wolf there still attacking. <laughs> go, Timmy, go! Win the day! Timmy, Timmy's about to get an axe to his anus. <laughs> He's biting into solid rock. I can only salute him. God, that would be I'm terrible. Yeah, yeah. That would be... Uh... Okay, I have a decision to make. I don't know how good these werewolves are. I know that they get killed very quickly to pikes. But the siege got... plan, bloody. Upgraded dwarves, though? You would think they can kill them? Mm. It's like, well, you raise a good point, Cryptic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Timmy the wolf. I, I, I'm staring at Zafragor, and I'm just praying that if I make him, he'll automatically be level 10. Just through some sheer it. fluke. Honestly, I think level 5 Dane could probably take him. The iron oh, you, okay. Oh, I don't have any mithril. I could totally get some veterans. You, yeah, you have complete map control, so travel camp is totally, totally possible. Well, it's possible early game too, if the map is uh, one where you can hide your camp well. All right. Yeah, I think I remember you saying that in one of the tournament videos. I really want to go and kill those obelisks. Uh, while uh, while I, I, I dare say this has been somewhat easy for you, I, I do hope you're still enjoying it and you're not bored. That oh, it's for been... sure, man, for sure. Okay, I, okay, I, that's just what I worry. I, I don't want you to be bored. I want you to be. I want you to have fun. Do you not notice how much I was laughing for the first time? <laughs> good point, good I'm point. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Take on some All right. of noble blood. The, the boring All part right. is right now building up the forces to end the game. <clears throat> Well, I think the Adain team made a mistake, because they put in summon trolls, but I don't see any summon Haldir, and I don't know. <laughs> Gotta be Rohan for that, and you know they made summon Haldir way stronger now? They did, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, even his summon as well? Yep. And by okay. the way, Haldir does not- I'm just gonna say this for all the folks who don't play the Adain mod, Haldir doesn't suck in the Adain mod. Rude is <laughs> false advertising when you says that. Haldir is quite reliable in the Adain mod. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh, I didn't know oh. my Ram Riders yet. These werewolves can't fit through oh, the gates. gates. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a little look see what you're up to. Nice base, bro. Thanks, buddy. Can you take on someone of no Oh wow, blood? three werewolves. I think they're vulnerable against pikes, which I have plenty of. They are. They'll die. They'll die as quickly as attack trolls. <sighs> I'm just gonna poop on your soldiers here for a little while. <laughs> they're actually trembling. They they're they're scared of bird poop. <laughs> Very much so. So much bird poop. No. Uh. Our only weakness. <laughs> All right. Give me some banners. To regenerate my boys here. Uh, you said you wanted to kill an obelisk, and I'm tempted to just summon one in front of you so you could get your wish. Well, that would be real nice of you. I don't think it's necessary though, because I'm about to have something that can really kill your obelisks very quickly. Oh, it's gonna be catapults. Iron Hills, Erebor, ready to dwarf anyone? <laughs> yep, Iron Hills, Erebor, ready to dwarf. <laughs> I don't know where you came up with that, that's pretty funny though. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, that's the only problem with this map, it just takes Wait so long to build up, even when you have total map control. Lack of build plots. Oh, cool. I'll use that. Go ahead and heal up my wounded dwarves. Damn it, those are pikes. Run away. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm ready for battle. Oh, shit, werewolves. I was Anna, trying to. Joranur! Tana! Oh, the Ram Riders have decided to enter the fray. Oh, you bet. We oh, shit, that's camp. siege. Back up. No, not to the King Dane. To, back to the base. Back to the base. <laughs> Holy crap, I have 2,000 gold. Wait. Cash floating is so bad. Oh, you've summoned some lovely lone towers, and there's a catapult right in the back there. Alright. Crush Bandicoots, I'd like to think that you will do me a favor and win this day. Holy crap, they're doing pretty good. 
Well, I think I disoriented you with the fell wind well, just to get. Well, it did help that I was looking away when you attacked because I thought you had retreated. Oh no! So all that all that money gone down the drain. Crash Bandicoots under Rude Devil, you fight to the death. There is no retreat in my book. <laughs> Even went up against for... upgraded dwarves. Do these things have heavy armor? Uh, I think they do. Well, yeah. They, that's not all they have, though. They no. still have many heroes. There's Dane. He's got his vendetta now. And Murin, who's just going full Blitzkrieg. Okay. <laughs> you wanna live forever? No. Okay, Dane I got... just keeps screaming to the king. It's so good. To the king? <laughs> you can take this scum. How many catapults do you think I need? You think eight is overkill? I think I would love to see that many fireballs going. All right, we'll make it. Yeah, we'll no, you fools! You could have survived. We you could have lived. Prevail. You could have had children. Ran forward. <laughs> you died horribly. Who is this? Your brother? That is my wife. <laughs> uh, I don't know whether I love or hate that dwarven females have beards. What but... is this? Filthy orc, something rather. I mean, like, yeah, that goblin mutant. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right, hmm. let's get pumping out those laborers. I've been sitting on a ton of money because I really don't know what to build. <laughs> it, this has just been how to kill Rude Devil in the most entertaining way. <laughs> well, I figured as we were coming into this, you know, if I am going to beat you, I might as well make it entertaining. You know what? Secretly, like, I get bothered on Game Ranger so much. Not because, like, it's me, but because they all want to beat me. So I think everyone watching is just... They, they, they just got a huge grin on their face. They can't wait to see how I lose. Well, if you want, uh, I can start leaving comments to help you improve your skill, and you can get good and start wrecking some noobs. Well, that, that was part of it, too. I'd like to get better. I, I would tell you, like, how to, I haven't seen your game enough, and I don't know enough about Angmar, so I can't really help you there. But when it comes to the other factions, I'm pretty good, so. Okay. I'm, just, I'm still not used to Angmar myself, and I don't really want to learn them while they're so overpowered, because I know they're just going to get nerfed into next week. Wait. Mm. want to learn the metas when they're actually stable. Iron Hills Catapult, you take way too long to build, my friends. All right, I think five is good. I'm actually not going to build eight. Sorry. Alrighty. All I can hear is the laborers building materials. Can you someone of noble blood? How many laborers is too many? Let's gather them all. There, there, there is never too many. That's the beauty of them. <laughs> well, I think I got about a hundred. Let's keep making them. Oh, uh, also, another thing to t let you know, um, this might help you when you're playing Mordor or a spammy faction. If you hold down shift when you click to queue up units, it will queue up five at a time. Yeah, yeah, I actually learned that from a video of yours as well. Damn, I'm glad they've been helping so much. <laughs> mm. Not not, not based on this performance, but you know. Hey man, based on it's, little it's things. dwarves and ramp riders, there's not much you could have done. I'm ready for I love those ram riders, they're so beautiful though. <laughs> And I'm, I'm zooming in right now on your Dwarven army, and yeah, the rework, just the aesthetic, aesthetically rework, it's just, it's just so nice. Hey, keep zooming in on it for a second, they're about to get really, really bright. Oh no. Make them glow. Stonehelm. <laughs> I am the Dark Lord. Ironbreakers, join the fray, lads! Meanwhile, I've got one battalion of Hillmen. I want to make a full 1800 army to make it a big spectacle when I seize you, but I'm worried that the people watching might just get bored, so. Yeah. I guess I'll go ahead and get her going here. Get the iron breakers up here. I bring death to the west. Uh, on the double thing, I heard that. <laughs> oh, can you hear it? I just, to no, er, just ever so faintly. It's, it's not a problem, but oh man. Alright, well. They are going to have to wait a minute, because I still have to make laborers. Alright, let's queue up 20 on each lumber mill. I love that the iron breakers get pickaxes. It's just so wonderful. Yeah, I think the pickaxes are actually quite a bit superior to the axe and shield because of the knockback. Mm. 
What is the armor debuff now on that? Is that when they switch? It's not an Oh, it's it, what they lose is fifty percent. Right. Okay. Or forty percent. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I just realized that my swordsmen of Condom have duelist. So they should do quite a bit more damage to your units. Well, you gotta remember that uh, my Raven debuff completely removes that. Ah. Oh. Just like well, uh, your Raven debuff completely removes my Guardian's stubbornness. Or your Obelisk debuff, rather. Laborers! All the laborers! Yeah, laborers! Oaths you have taken! <laughs> Fulfill <laughs> them all! For Lord and land. <laughs> If, if they ever just wanted to be funny, they could have like a, a separate ammunition type for the catapult where it just chucks a laborer. <laughs> That'd That's be great. A brilliant idea. I don't know if you ever, the cave troll, when they could throw uh, yeah, the, goblins, yeah. it would just one hit signal fires and <laughs> things like that. Yeah, freaking, uh, oh man, somebody who knows how to code, please make a sub mod for the Adane mod that's just laborer ammunition. Trolls, catapults. Oh man. <laughs> So can you see how many laborers I have right now? Uh, no. I can just see, like, your the your main army. Well, well, I can't bring them up to show you because your catapults will shoot me in the face. Mm. I'm okay to make that trade. I don't know about you, but... <laughs> I'm not. These guys... <laughs> Why? Uh, I hope, seriously, I hope everyone's enjoying this. Oh, um, man. Holy shit, there's the mother load. I hope people will come to see my, uh, holy crap, that troll pack catapult's got some range. Jesus Christ! How much damage Whoa. does it do? Alright. I'm gonna s well, Draglin, you have the aggro of... Alright, let's go draw that catapult's fire because it's freaking overpowered as shit. That is ridiculous that it does that much damage. Holy crap. Yeah, that's right, I said it. It's ridiculous. The enemy is attacking Sorry, I got a little upset. Oh no! Defend, dwarves! Actually, maybe I could... Shift your fire. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Be ready for it. No, select the catapult, you buck. How there freaking you strong are these walls anyways? I am gonna need like eight catapults. I guess can't... Oh god. Draglin, I think if you die this time... I think that might be it for you. Okay, that's it I for you, Dragon. I told you, Dragon. he dies a lot. He's so... Easy. I, I'm... Mm, I was just waiting to do his level... Uh, 10 ability, but... Alright, well, I... Like, those catapults are way too strong, man. Oh, no! I was too late. Ah, oh, Snowblind, shit. Well, Snowblind wouldn't have protected the catapult. It just protects the catapult building. Oh, uh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to get a second Siege Works and make, like, 10 catapults. This is gonna take a while. Rude, your defense is stubborn. You would make the dwarves proud. <laughs> oh, man. Holy crap, my dwarves are so screwed up. Heal up, folks. These laborers are so epic right now. They are lagging my game horrendously. Mm. <laughs> I, I've switched my game to medium settings, and it actually runs a lot smoother now. Yeah, I've got them on, like, uh, sort of upper medium. I think I think I put the shader down. I think that might apparently that's what was doing it. Yeah. Okay. Well, so yep. I gotta rebuild my siege. Know, so we're gonna be here a while. <laughs> well, it's wrong your fault. <laughs> you're being stubborn. <laughs> when your favorite race is the dwarves. <laughs> just, just for the folks at home, don't get mad at me. This is not me. It's him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm seeing your level four ram riders. I think you're fine. Level four? Damn. I didn't even I didn't even realize that. Waiting for order. Oh man. Oh, hold on. Oh no, I did get that. Okay. We are the king's men. It's too bad you can't use Thorin's um, runes on the ram riders. Yeah. I didn't right. even know you knew what they did. The only time I ever saw you look at them, you said you weren't going to look at them because you didn't understand them. I th I remember I actually did take the time to learn them, but I'd never really bother bother with them usually. Oh man, they are so good, especially if you put them on veterans. Whew. Well, let me just oh, yeah, read off the veterans. effects to you here. First one that you get is 25% resistance against fire, ice, poison, and magic. So as you can imagine, that's pretty, yeah, pretty helpful. Yeah, that's pretty damn useful. And then the second one is... 
uh, resources for every killed enemy. So the third That's one is incredibly useful. Twenty-five percent more experience, and the level eight one is twenty-five percent more damage in general to enemies. Plus, you know, that's all on top of Forge Blades and everything. It's funny because when you'll when you'll watch this from my perspective, it's just going to be a picture of my base, just constantly, <laughs> just just constantly. Well, that's pretty much what it is for me too. It's a picture of my base and a few of the different buildings. All right, let's grab that. That might help a little bit. With breaking this damn Angmar defense. I don't know if I have enough laborers. I don't think I do. I think I've got like 200 laborers. Doesn't seem like enough. I am the Dark Lord's uh -uh. All right, five catapults. We need five more. So you never played 3.8. How did you originally find out about it, Dan? Your channel. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> that's funny. I, watched, <laughs> I don't know why that makes you laugh. Let's just. <laughs> I watched the 3.8 videos and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And so I started following the Adain mod, but I didn't want to play it because it wasn't translated properly. Right, right. And uh, as soon as 4.0 came out, I immediately got it. And I started working on translating the English, and that's how I got to be a beta tester. Pretty much every text you see in the game has been looked over by me. Okay. So, me being able to understand what's going on IoT. Well, partially. Obviously, I FG for redo redoing it. That's the te the guy on the team who does the text work. I, I send in the translations, and he put he implements them. Okay. <clears throat> Through the shadow. Oh man, I really wish Angmar had that ice munition upgrade, like, uh, well, Gondor gets a fire munition upgrade from their stone worker. That'd be so useful right about now. You, listen, your catapults are OP enough as it is. They were able to <laughs> shot my catapults without the upgrade. That's ridiculous. I don't, I don't think any other catapult, wall catapult in the game can do that. <laughs> That's insane. Alright, eight catapults. Uh, Originally, we thought that was overdoing it, but well, now it's evidently cool. not. It's barely be enough. You got so many on the wall there. I do have a certain other something that might help a little bit as well. Rhymes with ID Batabolt. <laughs> 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 That's great. <laughs> that, that'll that actually seal it for you. We are ready to strike. We'll see. I don't know how much damage it does to structures. It's more of an army killer, I think. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven catapults. Eight, nine. My reason, you'd be surprised how little money I'm making, actually. Yeah, I'm actually surprised it's taken so long. Well, it, there's how many settlements on this map? Uh, and I'm not using the laborers, so I'm really, I've really only got one, two... Uh, and then counting the arid Mithran outpost, so three outer settlements and my base. Ah. Oh. <sighs> because I'm not using the laborers to chop down trees. I just got them kind of hanging out. Okay, making my final catapult now. It's because the build time is so slow on the forge works. Oh, well, we've gone and hit our command point limit. Well, what's that about? Shit. What are you doing hitting your command point limit? I don't know. Scrubby McScrubby. I think because I was doing so badly on resources, I didn't go for a pantry upgrade on some of these. Oh, okay. Oh. I thought you meant 1800. Alright, that's good then. No, no. I'm at 800. <laughs> which is, uh, needless to say, a little, a little short of the mark. Goblin scum! Burn them out! Alright. Dwarves, just to make sure I got as many of them as I can. Remember to go over your army. Don't rush or anything. You want to make sure you, you don't want your catapults to die like last time. That was a little embarrassing. The well, last time I didn't know those. I thought there was only one catapult on the wall, and I didn't scout with ravens first. All right. Heavy armor. And forge blades. Come on. There we go. They cannot bear my might. <sighs> so, how are things in Angmar Town now? Well, uh, we, we we dealt with that communism, and now and now Bolshevism has just risen. Even though that's essentially the same thing. So, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> the politics of Angmar is complex. Fair enough. Okay. 
I would actually assume that um, Angmar is probably more of a socialist dictatorship. We've run into a more of a despotism thing. Yeah. All right, ten Iron Hills catapults. Surely. That's gone. that's the spirit. Come on. All right. Surely to God. So is the is the goal here to just knock out the defenses and then send in the laborers for the for the coup de grace, so to speak? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. I'm planning on killing your citadel with my labor. Because we all know laborers, as awesome as they are, they aren't really very good at the whole fighting thing. No. Awaiting your orders. Units await my orders. I think that's a total war quote. That's where that is one of my favorites. <laughs> It's interesting because um, Dak takes a bunch of quotes from Edain, and Edain takes a bunch of quotes from, uh, from Dak. <laughs> they trick oh, right, okay. Uh, Dak is dividing conquerors. You were playing with Moss, which is the other big sub mod. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get another 80 laborers. Or 60 laborers. Oh, wow, actually, you don't have enough money. Alright. Move up the catapults. The enemy is attacking our forces. Waiting for orders. What's going on here? Oh, some lovely ravens that I can't shoot out the sky. Check out that damn obelisk. It's an eyesore. Oh my god, the range on those things. Mm, no, the obelisk! Oh well, you know what, we'll just do that. Take your obelisk and shove it. <laughs> Oh my sweet Mary! <laughs> fire, fire, quickly! There you go. I'm not even mad. That's amazing. <laughs> oh crap, two catapults have fallen. Oh, three catapults have fallen. Take that thing oh, down! Gee. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, says Theoden. Oh, you're four archers. Bring that down! I would use I would be using Snowblind, but it doesn't protect the catapult, you sir, uh, just the stand. Yeah. Alright, lads. Why do they... Oh my goodness, that was a triple. You... You're not you're not joking when you say these things are a little Oh no I wasn't. They they are completely open. No my archers! Take your archers and shove them. <laughs> Is there anything I have that you would you would like me not to shove? I'm right, I'm perfectly flexible. Um, I don't know. The gate has been breached! Right, let's get this done. Send in the goats! <laughs> There's combat, come on, they're not gonna die anytime soon. Oh, I don't think my mighty catapult can reach. Did they finally nerf the global oh, no, range of it? <clears throat> Where is it? Oh, there's some people floating above my thing. Okay. <laughs> Stand between me and my kin. I'll split this pretty head open. <laughs> there's no kin here, I'm sure. Oh, there was a mighty catapult. Got there far too late. All right. So this well looking two hit a catapult. Oh shit! I didn't even notice that. That's not nice. What do my catapults ever do to you? <laughs> oh wow, they die easily. Those werewolves are terrible. Mm. Charge of the Iron Hills, laddie! There's definitely gonna have to be some rewalks. <laughs> Where are these laborers? I don't see any laborers. Or are they in there? Oh, they're coming. Don't worry. I had to deal with. Well, my men of Condoom are holding as well as they can, but. That's just too much. See that charge of the Iron Hills? That was glorious. <laughs> Good old Murren. Alright, let's get a Juren's Day. If I don't understand, probably would have been a better choice, but I want to get Earthquake if I can. Holy crap, well, it's laggy. What would you have said was the better choice? Uh, are you talking about the PowerPoints? Yeah, you said Durin's Day, and you said something would have been better. Uh, I said uh, that uh, Final Stand would have been more suitable for me in this situation because it gets right. quadruple armor, armor but I mm. want to get ar um, Earthquake if I can. Alright, let's see if I can take out the loss of those catapults. Probably not. Oh, who the heck is that? Let's do some orcs. Well, here comes the laborers. It's the last march of the laborers. I figured you would have punched straight through to the Citadel. 
Well, I'm just, I, w I was dealing with your troop production first. Mm. The laborers are coming now. Okay, I, I didn't really bother to build anything because uh, uh, they would just die. It would just be delaying the inevitable. What the hell? You got another catapult. I rebuilt. <laughs> Oh, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> fire it, no! Bring Come it on! Go, 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 fire, fire! Oh, I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> Holy crap! That I told you guys is, to retreat. That is a lot of laborers, and they even brought their lumber mills. Oh, of course. You gotta be oh, they brought their, uh... Okay. <laughs> uh, well, here's a summon to annihilate all that hard work of yours. Oh, shit. You know, when they get there and not push push past my lines. But you had level 5 goat riders. And I... Okay. <laughs> Damn orcs from Mount Graham. Leave my laborers alone. <laughs> what can we call this mountain? Mount Graham. Seems good to me. <laughs> Alright, just to frustrate you a little bit. There we go. <laughs> so now they just have to stare at it. Uh... Oh, I didn't even realize my dwarves were attacking. I keep telling them to retreat, and they're not listening to me because it's so laggy. Oh, that's okay. We'll just kill some buildings in the back here while we wait. A little warm-up to the Citadel. Is it? Is it? Oh, I can't even hit them. They were, they're invulnerable. Is it a terrible thing that I've colonized the bottom island? Oh, did you? <laughs> Well, I honestly kind of expected uh, it. <laughs> I was like, well, do I want Zephyr to go and Witch King to die? Mm, no. So let's just go, my let's laborers. Just... Right, hit that hit that citadel with your beautiful logs of wood. I, I swear that wasn't a euphemism. <laughs> let's see how long it takes. <laughs> well, they they're dressed for the part, but damage-wise, it doesn't seem. Okay. Oh, you're probably never going to want to play me with me again. I'm killing you with laborers. I feel so bad. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm preferring the out of sight, out of mind tactic, and that's I'm making a new colony for myself. We will call this new Angmar. Your orcs can't be trampled. That's weird. I wonder if um, Horn of the Dwarves affects the laborers. Oh, it totally does! <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh man! I'm ready for battle. All right. I just want to destroy this this stupid citadel and then I'll have an army. Oh, he wasn't in his wolf form yet. That's still called the pack, rather than the knives. That was weird. So the knives would have. Right? Even more powerful than you. I will protect my base, struggling. Kill those laborers. <laughs> Killing me with laborers. That's a good day. It's been a good day. No, thankfully not. Alright, well, let's, uh, get Naren in there, and, uh, cease fire on Dracula. I think I already used my leap. No, I'm sorry, you're not allowed to attack. I did not give you permission to attack. No attacking for you. Curse you and your cease fire, this is not the 38th parallel, alright. <laughs> alright, let's go back in. Uh... I don't know if it's the ceasefire or the pathfinding. It might be the ceasefire that's preventing Dragon from moving. Uh, it might be the pathfinding though. Yeah, I, he's trapped in my laborers, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. I've got Naren helping a little bit. Heal up the laborers, laddie. You're under attack. No, the ceasefire must still be in effect. All right, let's kill him. No, Naren! Uh, do it! No! Yes! The Citadel has fallen! I have a level... Alright, I have a level 5 Witch King and a level 5 Zafragor on a boat back to the mainland. And when they fall, I'll, I'll happily destroy what I built on the island. Just so you don't have to build a navy and come after me. And I just... Really just nice the viewers. <laughs> they don't have to watch me build a fleet. <laughs> I've never really looked at the uh, dwarven dwarven fleet before. I've seen the Rohirrim fleet. Everybody's got custom boats. We move. Oh man. Well, uh, I suppose now that somebody's been killed by laborers, it's not funny anymore. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man. I, I took it too far, didn't I? I, I, I give you I give you an A for your style. Okay. I hope I did. I just realized I only made one transport ship, so it seems that I guess I could make another one, but honestly I can't be bothered. Well at least transport ship can transport two heroes. Yeah. And I've made five. But so only two are coming. Alright. Okay, here we go. I had fun. I had fun. <laughs> I had a lot of it's... fun. I just hope that actually <laughs> use, utilizing laborers wasn't taking it too far. I think I think I might have. Um... Nervous? No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I think I might have ruined the joke a bit. <laughs> I think once. Well, I think as soon as I put in the description, I lose to laborers. People will hang around waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> it is the ultimate clickbait, but it's the but it's actual. But well, it, it actually clickbait, delivers on it. Clickbait is when you put something in the title that implies something happens but doesn't actually happen. Yeah. So, so actually it's, it's... Oh my goodness, Might of the Witch King, go in on Zafragor. To the king! Formations! Oh god, Witch King, what are you doing? Now is not the time. Stubbornness! Horn of the Dwarves! I don't know how much the explosions are doing, but it is on the beaches of Falunden, the Witch King, that his fate. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Let's uh, use Righteous Strike on Zafirbor, see how much damage it does from Torrent. Go for it, man! Zafirgor's got about... Oh my god. <laughs> Zafirgor! I mean Arthas! Don't die! Oh boy, Four okay. Cry. Baruch Khazad! Oh, bollocks. I just realized I can't just demolish my own outpost. Hey, look at that! The buffs are totally care. working underneath the, uh, the debuff. You see that? Mm-hmm. Well, from what little vision I do have. Alright. Okay. I can't destroy my own thing, I don't think, so I think I'll just have to exit the game. Oh, hold on. No, we'll... I, I want, I'll get a win. I'll build some trans. <laughs> they build pretty quick. I'll just send over my heroes. Last little bit of annoyance. Before I finish you off. What the hell? Stonehill? There he goes. He's gone down. He's got, uh, this is what I call one hell of a last stand, but the ram ride is the bane of my existence have finally come in. Alright, well, the only hero I can afford now is Hawaldo. <laughs> Level 1, I'm not sure if he's going to do much. I'm doubtful. I'm going to use a plague on nothing. Oh, yes, no! Yes, yes. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up, PowerPoints. Come on. Come on. Is it going to be Earthquake? Uh, I don't think so. I'm not getting any. My, your outpost is kicking my ass. <laughs> Even the outpost on Angmar is stupidly powerful. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to have to start sending in the laborers. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why is that? Well, we've sent everything else over there. Okay. <laughs> That's all we got left, I'm afraid, is the uh, the citizens of our nation. No yeah. more warriors. <laughs> they've, all, they've all been killed. Quick, make some Molotov cocktails, boys. Come on, I'm so close. I need a quarter of a PowerPoint. Well, Druglin's about to come out, so you kill him again, I think you'll get your PowerPoint. <laughs> In about five seconds, he might he might be able to beat the outpost. Being possessed isn't as bad as it sounds in the Oh, come on, it's a sliver. It's a sliver. Got it. Even more powerful than no. No, no, no. Oh. There it is. Oh, fate of black. <laughs> Very uh, nice. Indeed. I enjoyed myself. I think I think we drew that out a little too long. Ah, well. But aside from that, it was a fun game. Well, I mean, what you can do is you can just put in that uh, the game was basically over when the laborers killed you, if you want, and then people who want to stop <laughs> watching there can. <laughs> Alright, so um, that was me versus Elite Cryptic. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll be putting a link to his video uh, to his channel in the description, so you can check out more of his lovely stuff there. Uh, Cryptic, uh, you can say goodbye to the boys and girls. Alright, well, thanks again for watching, everybody, and until the next video, stay awesome.